and I'm getting mighty tired of your trifling ways. I've just arrived at Abbot Kinney, and the weirdest thing, like an amber alert that seemed to come through all of the alarms in the area or everyone else's phones. Also, my phone started to buzz and ring, basically pointing out that there's like a white BMW sedan or something. Not exactly sure what this means, but I'm guessing that when there is like a really serious high priority Amber Alert, everyone's phone in the local area is kind of alerted. Oh yeah, my phone was just vibrating wildly in my hand and yeah, scary. Don't know what's going on. But anyway, I'm at Abbot Kinney. It's a new day. It's time to go and see if we can find some breakfast. For delicious breakfast on Abbot Kinney, look no further than Gajalina. I think that's how you say it. Who knows? Yeah, slice that ham, buddy. The restaurant wasn't too busy at this time of day. The decor is industrial and the food is thoughtful, healthy and rich. This place is amazing for breakfast. I obviously ordered the heaviest meat dish I could find hidden amongst all the light avocado bites. This place is called Petites. $50 for a pair of knickers. So there is all kinds of high-end shops here. There's all kinds of really awesome graffiti too. But yeah, it's kind of, um, it's kind of like a hipster upmarket hate Ashbury, where everything costs about four times as much. So that was an awesome lunch at uh, Creation. They actually specialise in like super healthy juices and salads and wraps and things but I actually went for the super healthy chicken bone broth which is just a clear broth with some cilantro and um, turmeric and a few things like that which are really good for you. It's good for the immune system so I enjoyed that and I also had the forbidden black rice. <laughs> Whatever that is, it's just basically like black rice with vegetables and I also went for like an apple mint sort of mango squeezed juice which is just super refreshing on a hot day this place is clearly very popular it's always packed to the gills and recommendable if you need an immune system boost flipping millionaires yeah there she goes yep sod it onto the pavement what a prick at Wells Leather Goods you can get a custom embossed leather item. We decided to get a belt with a reference to our favourite TV show, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And you load the letters in there. Cool. Put it in position. And then you put your hand in there. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest word anybody's ever had on the... Some really double-barreled... Yeah, on the front of one of these bags, like a poem. Oh my gosh. The rum ham. Sweet. Thank you. Okay. There you go. This way. Beautiful. Unbelievable. Oh, that is good. The rum ham. <laughs> you made us very happy. This is the silly one of the day. <laughs> So the graffiti and artwork around is really cool. I'm enjoying this like 3D graffiti with painted MDF boards attached to it. The colours are really vibrant. This is a mango chicken bowl from Lemonade. The pieces of chicken are really nice and fruity and sweet. Kind of has a crunchy sort of skin as well on it. Brussels sprouts over there. Oh, you can actually mix two different varieties of lemonade. And I have the... Um, this is a blood orange lemonade and a mint and cucumber lemonade mixture. We're heading to a place called the Rose Venice. It's a little bit of a walk off of Abbot Kinney. Apparently the food is really good. I think it's popular. But yeah, let's go and get some brekkie. So the 
chef here is called Jason Neroni, so there's certain items on the menu which are basically classed as Neroni style. We're just in time for the lunch menu basically, so it's a real mix of like different kinds of cuisines and stuff. So I think if you're with a group of people who have mixed palates, this is a really good choice. Something I've been wanting to try for a long time is mole. Um, this is like a Mexican breakfast burrito. But mole takes a very long time to make it. It's quite a complex um, sauce. I think it's got loads of spices and chocolate and all kinds of things mixed into it. Um, I've never really been anywhere where this is available, so let's let's give this a taste. Ooh, this one tastes very peanutty. It's almost like a satay flavour. Um, that is really good, though. Holy cow, that is good. I could just literally be like. And drink that in one go. Look at that! Tender looking pieces of like maple bacon in that. You can see the like chunks of meat rather than just like rashes of bacon. It's got some hashed potatoes in there, some really nice spicy looking sauce, and well cooked eggs. So just gonna give that a dip in the mole. Oh, yeah. Amazing! Really good. It's got a really smoky flavour to it, so. Um, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like the best smoky bacon you've ever had. You can tell that there's been a lot of love and care and attention to every part and aspect of this burrito. And it's just ultimate comfort food and the perfect start to the day. Korean fried chicken burger. This looks amazing. So it has green tomato. And as well as all Korean fried chicken, the gochang, I'm not sure how you say it, gochujang. It's just that really sweet, peppery, spicy, sticky barbecue flavour that you get with um, Korean fried chicken. So crunchy, so delicious. Oh yeah. What does baby want? Do you want his teddy bear? Currently at Gold's Gym, which if any of you have seen the Arnie documentary, this is where he pumped dying and became a star. Put that cookie down! No! Mm -hmm.